Nowadays, there are tons of options, and it actually begs the question, what should we be looking for when we buy a compressor? Well, what you really know, want to know is you want to understand how a compressor works. First of all, this case is an electric motor connected to a pump, which takes in air and forces it under pressure into this tank. And the pressure that's in this tank is measured by this gauge right here, which right now we're just over 100 pounds per square inch. Correct. But that's not the only gauge we have to contend with. No. This gauge right here tells me the amount of pressure that I can distribute to that particular tool that I want to use, and I can control it right here with a regulator. And by turning that up or down, you change the pressure to the tube, which then changes the pressure to the gun. Exactly. That's an important feature because every tool has a different rating. In this case, this paint sprayer works off of 50 pounds per square inch, which isn't really all that much pressure. No, it isn't. But in this case, this gun's going to work off of something like 90, and it's going to be a single burst of air. Right. right. Okay. PSI is not the only number that we need to think about. We need to think about size, and that's measured in gallons. Right. This tank right here is one gallon, whereas this tank over here is more like six gallons. Right. And this is a dual tank system here, and you have different sized dual tanks. And they go up and up and up to 150, 200 gallon tanks if you want. Really big tanks. Yeah, yeah. The really important number that you're interested in is what they call the SCFM. And that stands for? Standard cubic feet per minute. Now that's a measurement of what? Well, the volume of air that a compressor can put out at a certain rating, the PSI. Okay. So again, that's going to be important because depending on what tool you use, you're going to need, no, you're going to need more or less CFM. Correct. In this case, while it only works off of 50 PSI, because this is going to be a continuous use tool, spraying for 5 or 10 minutes, you're going to need a lot of volume. You're going to need Correct. a big CFM. Here, a single punch of air. Not a lot of volume. Not a lot of volume. So once you know what CFM you use, you go out and you find the compressor that you need. Right. And there are a lot of different options, so I would imagine a lot of different price points, too. There are a lot of different price ranges. Why we, we bought our first compressor years ago. I think we had one that was $1,800. <gasps> wow. But this one right here is a little over $100. What I like about this unit, it is nice and light. It's a point-of-use compressor, a shot line directly brought into the room, and I can trim a particular window or place a baseboard right there without drawing a lot of line, and it's very quiet. So if you want to put a little molding on in a den, you bring it into the den, you shoot a couple nails, pull it out, go into the living room and continue the project. Exactly. All right, well, regardless of which tool you end up buying, I would imagine they all require a certain amount of maintenance. Well, that's true, but there's also two different types. There's an oilless unit, which requires no maintenance to the motors. Okay, so in that case, the motor is sealed, mm -hmm. and it doesn't need to have any oil added or changed. Right. Then there are oiled units, which means the motor has oil in it, that needs to be changed. On, we change ours on a yearly basis. Okay. And that's going to be typical with these bigger models. Right. But no matter which one you get, at the end of each day of use, you need to drain at the bottom of the tank. There is a drain valve right here that you need to drain out all of the water or condensation that is collected during the day. And that's important because any time we put air under pressure, we create condensation. That's right. That water is going to sit here on the bottom of this metal tank, and over time this is going to rust. That's right. When it rusts, it's going to get weak, and it could puncture. Explode. Well, that is good to know.